Do you have a receiver and you want it just for movies and an amplifier just for music? Well, this switch will make a ton of difference. I'm gonna teach you how to make a perfect audiophile switch. How are you YouTubers, iTechnology reviewers? This video is specially for the audiophiles. I integrated a switch into the amplifier to be aesthetically correct and to avoid another electronic, another box or something that will decrease my sound quality. I integrated into this amplifier a switch and not only a switch, I made the contacts inside to have a perfect sound. For those of you who have a 7.2, 5.2 receivers and they are not satisfied with the quality of the sound and they bought an amplifier or you have an amplifier and you like the sound, you have one set of speakers, the front uh, speakers, left and right especially, and if you want to use just those two speakers, you cannot go and touch the wires by themselves, even the ground, because you're short circuit this electronics and you will burn them. So I bought myself the S-Series, the top of the S-Series, the 960H. It's a great receiver, it has a lot of function, it's 7.2, but I'm not satisfied with the audio quality. I'm not saying it's a bad audio quality, but you know, an amplifier is made specially for audio quality and not only an amplifier. It's a lot of talking here, but for audio fields, you know, receivers are not that good for music. Being the flagship and having high-grade components, I was expecting more from this than a receiver that cost $700 or 800 euros. Also, this has phono. I was looking for this in an amplifier to use my turntable on the amplifier. But I want the best there is from the sound. So this amplifier has 0.02, the uh, total distortion, the harmonic distortion. This one is, has 0.07. It's okay, but you can sense at the music a, a difference. It's a noticeable difference you, without the headphones, even with your speakers, you got to have a good set of speakers. You can set the difference. So guys, I'm gonna teach you today how to make a built-in switch. If you are buying switches, there are switches that will make the connections. You can switch from the first product to the second product, but if you are buying those and those switches have electronics inside, it will decrease the quality. The best switches are $200 above, $200 good switches. I'm gonna teach you guys today how to make a switch with 10 bucks. You need wires and that switch and your amplifier to have two sets of four wires, eight wires in the back. This is a great amplifier that has two pairs of left and right, A or B. So my speakers are on 8 ohms, I will use 4 to 16, it's perfect 4 to 60 ohms, so I will use only one round. If you are seeing here it says A or B, you will get 4 to 16 ohms, A plus B it's from 8 to 16. So I will leave this round to take out the sound from the amplifier. So this round here I will disable it just to connect the receiver to it. I will disable the connections to the motherboard inside and we will use guys a power, a small power switch. It's enough here. I have only a 100 watts RMS, 6 amps at 125 volts. I think it's enough. It supports I think 700, 800 watts. So my speakers have maximum 200 peak. So it's enough. I will put it somewhere in the front to be practical. This is not a problem, but let me explain you how it is. You have this position that activates these pins. And for those of you who know sound, you got to know that the grounds are not the same. The grounds are separate from the amplifier. So do not unite on other relays the grounds. The grounds must be separate. The channels must be separate one from another. The grounds one from another, the plus one from another, you know. Let's say to this pin's ground, because it's the middle position. If this pin will take from the receiver the signal, 
here will be the speakers right output input well this switch will make will touch these pins with the grounds the grounds the middle of this will be this connectors and we will cut into the other side and one set of pins will go to the cutted inside the motherboard and one set of pins will go to these connectors the upper side will go to the these connectors and this connector in the bottom side of the switch will go to the cutted motherboard on, on the the motherboard uh, inside the amplifier i hope i'm explaining very good the situation i hope i will find a position to be aesthetically pleasant sincerely i was looking for a way to take 12 volts i i'm sure it has somewhere 12 volts but i didn't found exactly a relay of this kind without being a mechanical or automatically relay because i could do electronically when i push the power button to automatically activate the relay and make the switches between these um, connectors so this amplifier being uh, manual it's not a problem for me to make a click when i watch um, movies or uh, enjoy music so click come on it's not that hard so now the switch is connected and i had the problem set soldering first i put 2.5 wire and now it's only 1.5 it's smaller because the wire is the soldering was breaking i use silver soldering for audio and i isolate good there the main board is very good i have some problems to a capacitor because this uh, amplifier stayed a lot uh, powered on without turning it off i uh, will change in the future this capacitor the wires guys i interrupt this mainboard now is only for uh, holding the pins the contacts are broken around around a contact it's broken it's not making contact with the main board i solder wires with silver soldering to this switch and i respect the wires you know it has three rounds the bottom round of contacts is for the bottom here right on this one the contacts the second on the second round is for this one and the second round is for this for the amplifier and these two connectors the idea is when i turn in this position it will unplug this amplifier and it will make contact between this set of connectors and the above and the below and it will make contacts just the receiver transmitting to the speakers when i click in this position it will this is important this is very important it will interrupt the, the above connectors and it will make contact between these amplifiers to these wires and these two directly on the below on the below the wires are respecting the colors you see the red is with the red and the normal it's with the black all ones all wires are the same and i'll drill a hole right here i got to clean it and i will insert the switch there so let's mount everything together and let's make a test and it's final guys it's final look how nice I, it looks it's isolated I left uh, some space for these capacitors and uh, some some air it has some wires but it's well ventilated it doesn't have a problem that this part of the amplifier must be good ventilated it's a good isolator there on uh, the switch everything works great let's assemble it and we finished while we are in the this receiver I hope then on will make a firmware update to increase the quality of the audio because it has a uh, very good quality components inside they can make a good quality advertising this as high res 
Well, then on, please make quality update of this receiver. And uh, while we're talking this, the menu, it's a rubbish. And the USB, I have an external hard drive of USB 3.0 and it's taking too much to connect to it. And it has a big delay navigating in the USB, but this is another story. Guys, let's make a test and let's see. Guys, we are playing from a quality DSD to the amplifier and the receiver has the same track over the USB. I will use that switch just for it. Picked up the differences. If you like this idea, guys, please encourage and subscribe that button. Put the notification bell and put a big thumbs up to this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. See you guys. Bye.